Okay, so what is Backbone.js? It's a 4 kilobyte framework uh, written in JavaScript that allows you to build client-side apps easily. So client-side apps are just apps which uh, they run in the browser and they don't really... Like all, the, all the logic is, is here instead of in the back-end application like Rails. Uh, so Backbone consists... It's an MVC framework and it consists of views, models, routers, and collections. So you're probably wondering where the controller is, model view controller. Um, views kind of act like controllers. So it's a little different to your traditional MVC, but uh, it does have a it does separate um, your app into these components, which makes it easier for scalability and for more complex apps. So in this diagram, I'm just going to briefly show how Backbone works, and I won't go into too much detail because it is kind of hard to grasp. So I'll give a general overview here, then I'll go into more detail of views, models, um, collections, and finally routers. So firstly, I'm going to just go through an example of how you would update the content on your page via Ajax without Backbone.js, so what you would do traditionally. And then after that I can compare with how Backbone handles it. So to, for this example, uh, in our database we're going to have a table of people. And so in Rails you'd have a model called people. And the same thing happens in Backbone when we get to it as you'll have a model called people as well. So in the database, um, people. So this row is a person, this row is a person, etc. Now, also in the browser, we're going to have a list of these people. So person 1, person 2, and person 3. So in here, we'll just have like their attributes. So that could be the name, so Bob. Matt, John. So these are attributes from the table or the row. Sorry, columns. I should say. Each one is a, is the name column. So imagine each of these have a little edit button. And when you click edit, a a modal comes over the top. So everything fades to grey and you have a modal come over the top. I'll just do it down here for simplicity. And it prompts you to type in the new name and then save. So we've clicked Bob edit. We type in a new name of uh, Zach. And hit go. So what would normally happen is um, so pink is Ajax. I'll just write that down. It was, we'll send an A, like you click OK, send an Ajax request. It would be probably if it's restful, a put to that person. So Bob could have the ID of 23. Uh, the Rails application would handle that and update um, Bob and change it to Zach. Uh, and then you just sort of get a confirmation saying, yep, that's all good. And then what would happen is you would handle the, re the response and say, right, this Bob has to change to Zach now. How are we going to do that? We're going to find this li, because this is a list item and then find you know the name inside of that so you would end up doing it with jQuery probably where you would just go um, person underscore and then the ID and then in that you'd probably go class of the name dot text go Zach. 
So this is probably how you could, this is one way you could do it. So it's push up, change it in the database, and then find it with the selector to change it. So this is one way of doing it. Now we'll have a look at how you do it with Backbone. So in Backbone, we are going to uh, add another step in between just um, updating the DOM after updating the database. We're going to make it so after updating the database, well, actually, no, even before that, we're going to have just a model of this, a model object of this person. It's going to have its at the same attributes as in the database, and we're going to update that model, which then updates the view. So let's, let's try and visualize that. <clears throat> so um, when you first reach your app, so type in your app name into the browser, it will you'll download the entire Backbone, like the JavaScript that make up your Backbone app in one go, and then it's just going to be sort of sitting in your browser behind the scenes. <clears throat> just like that. So this is your backbone app. So this is so the view and the browser is really kind of the tip of the iceberg. And so there's a little stuff behind the scenes with that's sort of rendering the view. So these people in the database, what backbone sort of does is brings this uh, set of people into the browser, so into its sort of local memory. And so if I sort of visualize that, so this is going to be the orange box represents a collection. And we're going to have a collection of person models. Now, just so you know what's what. So these are all representations of what's in the database and um, so these are all instances of the person model so if we go through that um, procedure again of where we update Bob we'll sort of click that this is popped out of nowhere we type in Zach and hit submit what's going to happen. So <coughs> this itself this may be getting a little complex but this itself will be a view and then within each view you handle different events so that submit will be a, an event in this big view and then we'll handle that and we'll say right he submitted Zach we're going to make um, the person object which is this, we'll say it's this one. We're going to update the attribute to Zach from the name attribute so from Bob to Zach. So when that updates, what's going to happen? So boom, updating the model. Now this view still says Bob. So what's going to happen there? Well, when you update an attribute in a model, uh, its corresponding view, which is this, is actually listening for events like that. So it's going to be, it's going to say when the attribute changes, the model is going to be like, hey, views, um, my name has changed, and the view will go, oh, okay, and update it. So, do another arrow. <clears throat> so every time an attribute changes in the model, the view changes with it. So it'll be click, Zach, that changes to Zach, and then the screen will change to Zach in that, in that order. And then what about this database? So the model in Backbone in the JavaScript browser has changed. This has changed, the DOM has changed. We've still got the, the database. So what actually happens is you call after you change an attribute you can go person.save so dot save is a function 
and that's built into Backbone and what that will do is shoot off a little Ajax request to your, your back end and then that will update the database and then just give you a little notification that that was successful so there you go that that's how sort of the general gist of backbone works you update the attributes of your model your view is listening for those changes when it so when it does change your view is like oh, okay re-render and the model also you can just save to the database so it's just this sort of cycle of events and while I'm at it this as I said this orange is a collect orange box is a collection so it's the same as I think I can just that so these are collections so a collection is just multiple objects of the one model in like an array kind of thing and <clears throat> I'll leave it there for now and get to that in a later screencast but hopefully that makes sense I know it's not a completely accurate uh, depiction of Backbone as these are actually templates but we'll, we'll get to that soon and this, this should give you a good starting point of what we're gonna be doing so next is the views.